Hi, and welcome to another video by Apex Smart Home. Today we're gonna to talk about how to program your Wi-Fi smart chime from alarm.com to your new Wi-Fi network. And so the first thing to take into consideration is you're gonna need this Wi-Fi password that's on the back of the chime. Uh, make sure you take a picture uh, or write it down. And then um, we're gonna be able to plug this in and uh, from here, we'll be able to let the device boot up. Um, you'll see the first light's gonna start blinking. We'll wait for that to go solid. And then um, the second light, the cloud light, is gonna start blinking. This one's probably not gonna light up uh, as your Wi-Fi isn't connected. And then um, now that light is going to be off and my doorbell's already connected, so I have my link light on. Um, so now what we're gonna do is on the side of the device, there's gonna be this little button here. So if you click that, you should see that fourth light right there is going to turn on. Um, that is going to put the uh, camera in WPS mode. So let's go to your device, um, go to your Wi-Fi settings and from any mobile device, cell phone, tablet. Um, when you go to your Wi-Fi settings, you should see in your networks where it says chime config click on that and then enter that password um, that we got off the back of the device. So we're gonna enter that password in and then go to your internet browser. Um, if you get an error like this, just click on that button where it says uh, stay connected um, and that's gonna allow you to stay connected to the doorbell. So we're gonna go to our internet browser and then type in 192.168.1.1 and then press enter. From here, we're gonna click on English uh, or whatever language that you prefer. Scan for Wi-Fi networks. And this should pull up the Wi-Fi network, um, your new Wi-Fi network. So you're just gonna click on that. And then from there, you can type in your Wi-Fi password and hit that save button. And that should just about do it. It's probably gonna take about uh, three to five minutes and everything should reconnect. Um, from there, you should be able to go back to your alarm.com app, pull up your video doorbell, and any other devices that are connected to this chime should also automatically uh, start working as well. Thank you very much for the time. I hope this was helpful. And uh, definitely feel free to reach out to us if you guys have any further questions. Thank you very much. Have a great day.